boys and girls. This is a 10 frame. Do you know why it's called a 10 frame? You're right, because it has 10 spaces. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It has five on the top and five on the bottom and ten all together. We use this tool to help us in math. I've got some pumpkins here and I need you to help me count these pumpkins so we can represent that number on our ten frame. How many pumpkins do I have in all? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I have five pumpkins. Let's show the number five on our 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five. So if I want to show five, I'm going to fill up the entire row on my 10 frame, the entire top row. How many pumpkins do I have now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight pumpkins all together. Let's show eight. Now remember, boys and girls, we already said that if you fill up the entire top row, that equals five. And we know that eight is more than five. So for sure, we don't even have to count because we know that we're gonna fill up that whole row. So there's five, but we have to get to eight. So let's put five in our heads. Five, six, seven, eight. Great job! Let's do one more. How many pumpkins do I have now? Three, you're right. One, two, three. I have three pumpkins all together. Now, am I going to go ahead and fill my top row completely? No, because three is less than five. So let's count out three. One, two, three. Good job, friends. We're going to keep using our 10 frame when we count and add and when we subtract.